Hey, what's up everybody? This is your boy Chris, aka Mr. 540. Um, this is gonna be my first wave video. Pretty much I'm just talking about my wave um, pattern um, and why I chose my wave pattern. Um, so, and I'm gonna also give you a little demonstration of me brushing my hair in that wave pattern. All right, so um, let's go to my waves, all right? So, on my left side, well, here's my top angle. Let's look at my top angle. My top angle has a slight um, slant on my left. Let's go about this far out. Um, my left is going down this way. And then when I get to the back, I'm brushing this way. All right, and then when I get over to my left side, I'm brushing at a slant this way, as if I've got 360s. All right, so let's probably do a full head brush here. Session, a little small mini session. All right, so at the top, um, brush it in a slant at the top because my waves are slanted on purpose. Um, most waves, if you brush straight down, the waves are going to go straight across. But I want mine slanted. All right? So I'm brushing it going down on the right side. Then when I get near the crown here, I'm slanting my brush pattern. Slant from my crown all the way over. Then when I get around this way, I'm gonna brush it as if I'm 360. And then when I get back to the top, I'm going at an angle to slant it. So around my crown area, uh, and I really need to work on my crown area, I'm going around. So that's how I do my crown. Um, I actually have a brush that I use for my crown also. Um, this here, you can get it from Brush Kings or brushking.org. The link will be in the description. So I'm using the tip of the brush. Kind of going around. Well, you see my waves going this way, and then they're going this way. That's a 540 wave pattern there. Um, and why I chose the 540 wave pattern was because I just like um the style of the 540 wave pattern um there's a lot of wavers such as 360 jeezy hurricane henry and a lot more um who have really mastered the 540 pattern yeah. there's a couple um websites i go on on facebook which are elite spins um wrl waves are life um i think kato is the administrator at elite spins and i think hurricane henry is the um Administrator at Ways or Life, but um, there's a lot of information up there. A very lot of a lot of information up there. Um, I'll be a lot a lot of the lives, kind of just really listening, taking in notes. Um, you know, trying to learn how to better my ways. Um, one thing I do also is uh, I don't always use a brush. Uh, sometimes I use a comb. Um, the comb is great. Sometimes I do comb sessions. Comb sessions actually help with force and lining up your waves and widening your waves also. Um, depending on your hair, te hair texture, um, your waves aren't gonna be but so big. Um, I kinda have a medium, a medium coarse um, hair texture, I guess. And I think my waves are pretty much about this wide on top. Um, so the comb helps out with that. Um, I actually, chose the 540 um, wave pattern actually off of, um, I had 360s in high school, and so I went to a barber, before I started doing self cut, went to a barber and he kind of messed my wave pattern up. So I was like, well, you know what? Let me try another wave pattern since I already kind of got this one scalped pretty much. 
Um, so I went to the 540 wave pattern and just kind of liked it ever since. Um, I think I get more of a, wow, I like your ways, your ways are neat type thing on a 540 than the 360 because 360 is the most common. Um, 540 is that pattern that when they look at the back, see the slant, they're like, whoa, that's crazy, you know? So I just like the 540. Um, it's my style, is what I like to do. Um, I do self cuts myself now. I've been doing it for maybe 10 years now um, or more. Uh, because, you know, I like how I cut my hair. I know how I want it cut. And sometimes going to a barber, you know, they don't cut it the way that you want it cut. They cut it what, the way they think that it should be cut. Um, so, <clears throat> and it's okay if you go to a barber, tell the barber what you want. Don't let the barber do what he think he should do. Um, majority of the time, my crown, I leave my crown alone. I don't mess with my crown. Um, I don't cut it um, unless it's like really, really uh, thick. I cut it in, but usually I don't cut my crown because that's the part where it needs the most work. Um, so I wolf there a little more than I wolf anywhere else. Um, so wolfing is actually just growing your hair out, not getting a cut, um, keeping your rag on, combing, doing comb sessions, brush sessions. Um, wolfing helps out a lot. Wolfing helps out with your connections and your depth. So that's a big thing. Waivers, everyone, if you're a waiver, you should be wolfing. Most definitely. Um, there's a lot of people who wolf for a long period of time. I don't. Uh, I'll probably wolf for maybe a month and a half, probably. Um, I've done two months before. I've done two and a half months before, actually, too. Um, but I really don't wolf for a long time because <clears throat> Wolfing for too long, you can get overcurled. Overcurled is not a good thing. Um, so I don't wolf for too long. So just to avoid that. Um, but look, this is my video, man. Um, hopefully y'all got some information, learned something. I'm not the wave guru. There's other YouTubers on YouTube that you can get the wave guru information from. That's not me. Uh, I'm just explaining to you how I do my waves and you know how I brush mine. So if you want 360s, go find a 360 waiver. Um, if you want 540s, go find a 540 waiver. Or look at my videos because all my videos are gonna be about 540 waves. That's it, nothing else. Um, so look, y'all have a good afternoon, good morning, good night, whatever um, time you're watching this video. So I'm out, all right?